Today, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how to draw a heart in, uh, in Zara. Now, there are a few different methods that you can use. Um, one of the first things you could do is go to the Designs Gallery, and under Objects, there's a heart there, which you could drag and drop on, and it's uh, completely vector, so you can uh, increase its size, squish it down, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't find this uh, particularly aesthetically uh, pleasing, so I'm going to draw my own. Um, one of the easiest methods that you can do is to draw just a simple square, right? Let me go ahead and fill that with a red color. And um, I'm going to give it a particular size. I'm make sure that my um, lock aspect ratio is on. By the way, when I when I drew this, let me, let me start over. When I draw my square, I'm going to hold down the control key to get it to make sure that it's a perfect square. Uh, if I don't hold down the control key, then I can draw a rectangle. Uh, so anyway, once I have that drawn, I'm going to make sure that I make it a specific size, something easy to remember. I'm going to go ahead and type in 170 or something like that with lock aspect ratio on both, which is this block padlock uh, uh, button here. Uh, both when I enter in one uh, value of 170, the other one changes to 170 as well. So once that's done, I'm going to change the, uh, the rotation on this to 45 degrees, press enter, and I have more or less a diamond shape. Now I'm going to draw a, a perfect circle. I'm going to hold down the control key again to lock the aspect ratio to be perfect. And I've drawn that to exactly 170, which is what I, what I want. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up more or less so that it touches exactly. I can zoom in a bit to see. Yeah, I may have to play with this just a bit to get it. I want this more or less to be a continuous line going forward, so I may need to play with that just a touch to get it perfect. That's exactly what I want. So once I have that, I'm going to press, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit to 200 so it's a little bit easier to see the entire object that I'm working with. I'm going to press Control K with the uh, circle selected to clone it. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and the left arrow key to nudge it over until I have this one lined up along this edge perfectly. Now I'm going to press Control A to select all of them and go to the Arrange menu, Combine Shapes, Add Shapes, and there I have my heart. Pretty easy, right? Um, so that's one method. Uh, another method you could use is um, to just, let me zoom back out again, to the page. Uh, beforehand, I brought in and grouped a, a few um, heart drawings from, uh, from the internet. Uh, I just typed in heart coloring pages and got a, a, you know, a few hundred thousand uh, versions of hearts from, uh, from coloring books. And here it's quite easy. You can just uh, um, take your, uh, your shape editor and uh, trace along the edges of this heart. Yeah, and get get your heart shape, which go straight across from there. Do the same thing again. Yeah, and back down here, and move that in. And there, I've got more or less my heart shape, and I can. I can play with that a little bit, uh, even it up, right? These obviously aren't uh, aren't aligned quite perfectly, but uh, you could easily bring in some uh, some guidelines and, and line things up so that they they look a little bit more exactly like one one side looks a bit more exactly like the other side, that kind of thing. Uh, in any case, you can play around with it and get it exactly how you want it. Um, Another method would be um, once I have half of my heart shape, I could take that and I'll move it over so you can see exactly what uh, what I'm talking about. Let me. Um, so once I have half of my heart shape, if I want to make a completely um, uh, symmetrical drawing, I can uh, press Control K. 
um, change the, uh, the origin position to the left-hand side. And if I were to show you that, you can see the origin position. If it's in the, normally it's, it sits in the center of the drawing, but I'm changing it by pressing on the left-hand side of this to, to the left-hand side. Um, and then I can flip it horizontally. Right? And then if I zoom in on those, yeah, I can make these a bit more perfect. I'll go ahead and put in a perfect center line. And I wasn't quite perfect on the on the center here, but that's that's not uh, that big of a deal. Uh, if I grab both of these, I'll zoom in even closer here to, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to grab one side and drag it over to the point uh, on top of the point of the uh, the other line. And once you get that little plus sign there, it, uh, it it's joined them together. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just drag this down here. And I'm going to drag, well, that did something a little bit different uh, than what I wanted to do. Um, if I grab that and there. Now it's perfect. And if I zoom back out to page, you can see that it's a completely um, symmetrical shape. And then I can play around with it and drag it out and expand it, that kind of thing. Um, OK, so that's uh, another way of doing things, hide those hearts. Um, and uh, then another way of doing it is um, a kind of a, a quick and dirty um, square uh, shape if I drew a couple of these squares All right I'm gonna grab both of those remove them control X go to the guide layer control shift V to put them on the guide layer I'm gonna go ahead and line them up with my other guidelines here in the middle of the page I'm gonna go ahead and lock those those guides now those squares are on the guide layer, and they turn into guidelines. That's what the, that's more or less happened there. And I'm going to use those for uh, a guide in drawing my my next heart, right? So I'll start in the in the very bottom. Come up. Okay, I've forgotten to uh, to go to a different layer, so I need to go back to the mouse off layer. Uh, was that what that warning was? If I click here. And then go up here and then come up to about a quarter or three quarters of the way to the top of this other square uh, and I can bend this out a little bit and then I just use these guys more or less as uh, as whoops undo, as guidelines for for how I want the heart to look yeah so I'm gonna I keep missing that vizier handle curve. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this more or less at a 45 degree angle so that this uh, the top of the heart touches this square. And I'm gonna bend this one down so it's more or less at a 45 degree angle. What I want to make sure of though is if that's whatever I do here this angle is straight through here right so i could go ahead and do a smooth join and do something along this line yeah touch that one up a little bit to get it how i like it yeah and once I have that, I can do that exact same thing that I did it again uh, with the last heart, Control K. I'll show you where the where the uh, um, origin point is. I'm going to set the origin point to the left hand side, uh, flip it horizontally, and uh, join up those two hearts again. So you've more or less seen this before, but the last thing I did, but. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Whoops. Sorry. Zoom in here. I'm going to select.
select both, grab these, make sure that they line up together, go down to the bottom and do the same thing, and there you go, you've got another heart. So those are three different methods for creating hearts. Uh, you can pick and choose the one that you find easiest. Um, I hope you found that interesting and useful, and we'll see you back next time.